most of you ladies would have done at the end of the night. He walked me to my car and I made out with him and then I bit his tongue because I was hungry. <laughs> So, you know, I just, I just really, I wanted to meet someone real. I don't know why it was so hard to meet someone real. I mean, how, really, how hard could it be? I want someone real. <laughs> so I got, a, I got a life coach. I got a life coach to kind of help me get centered. And my life coach said to me, Susan, you seem to have an anger problem. And I said, what? She said, you need to deal with the F word. She said, you, you, have to, you have to forgive in order to move on. And so I fired her. And um, I said, can I, can I forgive him and still think he's an asshole? Um, so I thought, you know, this life coach thing, I can, I can actually do. I've been bossing people around for years in my house. So I just told myself, you know, what is it, what do, do what are other women doing? Everyone's becoming a yoga instructor, but you know, I'm not bendy, so no must stay. And, um, and then, uh, I, I like to write, so um, do a blog. Uh, and I did a blog, I created a fiction blog. And, and um, I, had on, I had on my vision board the kind of man that, that I wanted to meet, and uh, I, I just created a new gender, and he was called Flume, F-L-O-O-O-M, because, oh, 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 he was really that good. <laughs> now, who, the, the Flume was a, just a, a man who just knew how to make the right choices in life. It was easy for him, it was natural. And um, he, he wore organic cotton, he went to he went to green markets. He um, he didn't pass gas. It was a fiction. It was fiction. So um, anyhow, the women, all the single ladies, he was available to. But the women who got the first flumes had to have had a a bad relationship um, with a guy. They were cheated on or stolen from or whatever. So they got to hang this this person. That the let me tell you this. The um, screensaver for the blog was a penis clothesline, and it ran across the United States. Every state had its clothesline, and um, so the women who had these bad relationships could hang the their dick on the state that um, they had met this this undesirable person, and um, the name was um, on a little dog tag on the scrotum. So you can imagine, you can imagine somewhere like Washington D.C. The clothesline was packed. <laughs> and, um, and then, like, Starkville, Mississippi, maybe just a couple. But it was a great resource for women who were thinking of going out with someone or marrying someone to check to see if indeed this, this man was hanging on the clothesline. Um, it was a red flag. I am um, happy to say that I got married again. And um, my husband was not on the closed line. Thank you so much. Come on, guys, give it up one more time. Right, nice. Some fucking groovy bunch of heads out here. Really nice people. Let's, uh, let's get our guys out from Ugly Sweaters back out here. Come on, guys. Come on. Thank you. Alright, alright. It's, uh, what, what did we just learn? You. I learned that, 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 that my uncle could have sex like three times and not even know it. <laughs> What's your uncle's name? Uh, uh... Because he needs to meet my aunt. Like, she's just not the one. Anything else? What, what else can we learn? <coughs> yep, I don't know, sir. Since I'm half Puerto Rican, I'm going to build half a house. <laughs> 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 okay, yes. Uh, what else I learned that in order to find the right man, I have to eat part of his tongue. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, children, that, uh, also, 
when you're in Miami and you're shaking your ass, pull onto the walls. <laughs> and also, your vagina turns into a pussy at midnight. <laughs> yes. Is that when you need to splash it? Like just. Just, just like a pipe. Like a pipe. Very good. I think it was a. Yeah. Grandpa? Yes. How is love making violent? Just. I can't tell you, Mom. You're too young. You shouldn't know that. Do you, you have to, like, yell, like, ah! <laughs> Grandpa? Yes. I'm very worried about my daughters. I haven't met any of their boyfriends. And if I don't meet them, how do I know if they're good? <coughs> you know, how are my daughters going to buy it off their tongue? Good question. I think you should ask your grandma. <coughs> yes. Grandpa? Yes. I didn't know Coral Springs was in 1970. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It is. Very good. Someone said it was a productive day, kids. So, uh, yeah. We can all just uh, put our hands together for business casual. Every crease and every wrinkle. 
just the littlest brush. You just keep it. And next thing you know, it comes to life. <laughs> tacos are really good. If there was the last food on earth, I would want it to be a taco. <laughs> If you see a young child, go back to our easel and do a little. And then Scotty got A plus on his art project. I was so happy to see it. Well, there's a little bit of the end. Oh, 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 oh,
Uh, all right. Oh, well, look at this. Aaron and Heather are here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as uh, Aaron and Heather take the stage, uh, can I get a um, uh, a verb from the audience? Oh, you have to leave. Verb. Wait, she has to leave. I have to leave. Oh yes, you do. My gosh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host. I'm terrible. Uh, go ahead, Aaron. If you want to leave the stage, give her a round of applause. She Volunteer, somebody trustworthy, sir. You have tattoos. Um, would you, <laughs> you make sure that Aaron is outside and can't hear what we're about? Yeah, cool. You can come right back and you don't have to pay uh, double. Don't okay. <laughs> All right, so um, while Aaron is out of the room, I need a verb from you guys, just like before. Jump it. Jump it. Great, okay. And then I need a noun from this side. Pants. Pants. Pants jumping. Pants jumping, that's me, that's me. Pants jumping, because that's the book that Erin just wrote. She just wrote a book on pants jumping. She's about to come on this talk show, had this talk show to uh, to discuss it, only she doesn't know it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Erin back to the stage. Numerologist, she said, 11 rounds in the dryer, the pants, the jump, the leap. 